Welcome to Round Roanoke. I'm your host, Kiana Price Wade. Are you looking for a unique gift to give this holiday season? If so, the Junior League stock market is a stop you want to make. The annual event has become a staple of the holiday shopping season. People come from all over to purchase that extra special gift. Here to tell us more are Junior League Roanoke Valley President Sarah Bloom and stock market co-chair Ginger Poole. Thank you ladies for coming in. So what is the stock market and how did it get started? Sure, um, we're excited to um, roll into our 23rd annual stock market this year at the Roanoke Civic Center. And it's our primary fundraiser for the Junior League as far as this is really that weekend that, um, that builds um, the bulk of what we give back to the community um, in this weekend. Um, we're proud to announce that last year we raised over $168,000 in a weekend. Wow. So it is our primary fundraiser. Man, oh man, <clears throat> and so how did it get started? Is it a coin fundraiser of the Junior League, or did you ladies kind of come up with the idea? Well, I think it was before our time, okay. as far as um, I'm fairly new. This is my third year involved. And we Junior League's really all over the country do holiday markets as a major fundraiser. Gotcha. And um, we're actually known among other Junior Leagues for having such a successful fundraiser and have trained other Junior Leagues on um, a holiday Market. I will say so. so. <laughs> Over a hundred thousand dollars in a weekend is nothing to bat an eye at. Now, what types of merchandise can our viewers purchase at the stock market? I could give a couple examples. <laughs> <laughs> there truly is something for everybody. We have um, food merchants, clothing, accessories, jewelry, um, things for children, things for the sports fanatic, um, things for pets. Um, a little variety, and there's truly anybody can find something that and, they need to take home. And unique toys. I think that's the one thing. As a mom, yes. I just found so. So many different, you, you wouldn't find them somewhere else kind of right. items. And I think that's probably what I appreciate the most because you know you're going to get that gift that somebody's probably not going to get. So, exactly. yeah, some really interesting and fun things. So, where and when is it? Sure, it is at the Roanoke Civic Center. Um, and we kick off with um, a cocktail gala on Thursday evening from 7 to 10, and that's called Splurge, and that's on November the 10th. Um, we then go into another VIP uh, event, which is the Preview Coffee. Um, that's Friday morning of the 11th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then the doors open to the general public Friday from 11 to 7. And then we go into Saturday from 9 to 6. And then we close up the weekend on Sunday the 13th um, from 11 to 5. Now, is there a cost for those tickets? There is a cost. Um, it's a great value, though. It's $8 in advance for a general admission ticket. Um, and what this uh, general admission ticket allows you, it's a three-day pass. So in other words, you can come and go as you choose um, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you come in on Friday and, and or your arms are loaded as mm -hmm. you leave and you forgot that one specialty item, you can always come back um, uh, with that three-day pass. Now the <clears throat> Thursday night and Friday morning special VIP event, is that a special ticket? Or? It is. Um, the Splurge event, um, like I said, is a cocktail gala that kicks off our whole weekend. Um, we've got a wonderful catered event by Ovations there at Roanoke Civic Center, um, as well as Kevin Hurley taking photography, um, little takeaway pictures of, of everyone, and the whole evening is sponsored by Ferguson. We'll have a silent auction and a raffle with some amazing uh, prizes this year. We're very excited as far as, you know, bathroom remodels and, oh, fun. and some fun, fun things. Those tickets are $45 um, for one ticket or for two tickets, you can get two for 80. Gotcha. Now, Sarah, we only have a minute left. Tell us about the Junior League and quickly what projects are the Junior League working on in the Roanoke Valley? The Junior League is an organization of women who are committed to volunteerism. And our focus for the Roanoke Valley Junior League is childhood health and welfare. So some of our projects this year we are doing are um, at the Ronald McDonald House, at the Presbyterian Community Center, and at um, CHIP. And so the proceeds from our stocked market go directly to the community through grants that we give to various organizations. Wow, you so. ladies stay very busy and you can <laughs> see that the stock market's going to help our purchasing, our splurging, it's going to help so exactly. many um, well-deserving organizations in the Valley. So once again, when is the stock market and where is it? Sure, Roanoke Civic Center, November 10th through the 13th. And if our viewers want to get information about the Junior League, where can they go? 
they should go to our website, which is jlrv.org, and they can get information about the event or just the Junior League in general. Sounds great. Well, I'm looking forward to getting my shopping on. <laughs> <laughs> great. And the Thursday night thing sounds like trouble. <laughs> it's a fun night. Tipping Very back some, uh, <laughs> some beverages and shopping. I don't know if that's the, common, <laughs> the right combination for me, but ladies, thank you so much for all that you thank do. You. And we're looking forward to this year's stock market. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you can learn more about the stock market market and other happenings on the Cox Community Calendar coming up during the break. I'm Kiana Price-Wade and you're watching Round Roanoke on Cox 9.